weeks ago, I teased you about a certain video that I'm really pumped about, but I got this big lino cutting thing and a little lino cutter, and I'm gonna make some stamps. I haven't done this since like high school when I took this like printmaking class, but I kind of just want to see what we can make. I have some ideas. We're gonna roll with it. But another thing I really want to do, and I really, really am pumped for this, but I want to use like the artwork that I carve into this to stamp onto my packaging this year for different merch. And what I mean by that is I ordered like bulk envelopes and bubble mailers and stuff like that. These ones are more on the earthy color end of the spectrum for good reason. I'm just really excited about that because I like to write like handwritten notes to people who order original artwork. And I think it would be so cool to do like a little stamp of like a moth or something. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, oh, I think I wanna do a mushroom too. I don't know, let's do this. Let's do this, I'm, oh, I'm so pumped. This comes with a bunch of different tips and stuff, which ooh, my hair gets into, Dude. All right, question of the day. Even when you pull your hair back in a weird bun, do you still find it everywhere? Cause all day, kid you not, I'm pulling it out of my art supplies, pulling it out of my clothing, pulling it off my husband. I'm like shedding like crazy right now. Anyway, this set comes with, oh, ah, oh my goodness, where did that go? Already calls in trouble and we are not even into the video. I just wanted to hold all of these up so you could see them up close. Here's all the little attachments that you can put onto this handle to carve like detailed things. And essentially you can get as detailed as you want. That's all. I've used this thing before, as I said. All right, just popping all these out. I'm really excited for this, guys. I've been looking forward to this for a really long time. I've said this in previous videos, I didn't really have the budget to get like the roller and all the like print making stuff. So I'm doing this my own way. I know that some people will hate on me for it because I've gotten hate in all the last videos that I've mentioned this, but I am just gonna use acrylic paint. That's all I'm doing. I'm just gonna dip it in acrylic paint. There's no harm with that. I don't really think it matters because not every artist is rich and has the budget, so I'm just rolling with what I have. I'm a normal person. Like, I know I do YouTube, but YouTube doesn't pay a lot. I'm a normal person. I just work with my budget, so yeah. I'm really excited to test it out on these envelopes too. Um, I guess I'll tell you guys. I am gonna be making stickers this year, and I'm playing around with like how I want to package them. But I was thinking of using these like earthy envelopes for stickers to ship them in. Unless people buy like multiple things, then I have like bubble mailers and other methods of shipping them. I'm excited about this because I can use like cardstock and whatnot to make it a lot sturdier, but lower the cost of shipping, which helps people who buy from me and it helps me. This is like all paper packaging, so it would be like better for the environment. Yeah. Why am I ranting to you about this? I don't know. Let's just get started with the video. Let's get started. We're gonna make some stuff. Just gonna play around. And I have this giant sheet. And if this goes well, I might have a new hobby. I might start like, woo. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. Whoosh. Let's dance. Let's make some stamps, some dance. I need to calm down. <laughs> Uh, we have this thing, my cutting mat. I'm gonna cut this up a little bit. Oh my goodness, this is so satisfying. Yay! One chunk off, yeah! I know I'm about to get lectured from some people saying don't cut toward yourself. <laughs> so don't cut toward yourself if you're doing this at home. You guys ready for an adventure carving stamps? I am. Alrighty, the first thing I am sketching is, you guessed it, a moth. 
I've been obsessed with moths and butterflies lately. It shows in a lot of my artwork. So hey, why not live it up a little bit and do this on a stamp? Ho oh, ho ho, this is getting crazy. We're getting wild up in here. So I decided not to do too much detail. Didn't want to be overwhelming, but still have enough detail that it would have some character when we use it. Before I get ahead of myself, I have a question for you. Here's the question of the day. Who here has done this before? And if you have done it, let me know what you made. I want to know everything that you made from your first to your last. Did you like how it turned out? Did you do it at school? Did you do it at home? Let me know your whole experience. I'm so excited. I feel like this is a very underrated artistic activity, but it is so fun. I love it. I don't have the greatest angle right now, but I had to stop what I was doing just to say, I feel like this is ASMR for the eyes. Like I'm just sitting here like, this is so satisfying. I love it. Seriously, this is probably about the most therapeutic thing I could have thought to do for myself today. I didn't even feel like I was working. So that was really nice. Especially because I'm going to be using this for work stuff later, like printing it onto my merch. Let's just talk about some other things. So a couple seconds ago, I asked you if you guys have ever done this before, and I may as well tell you my experience as well. I have done a few of these in the past because my school, I felt like it kind of emphasized art a lot, but maybe that's because I was just very invested in it. So I took a printmaking class once, and for my final project in there, I did this huge portrait on probably one of these that were about, oh, I don't know. Whatever size was the one that I bought, I can't like go back and look now because I cut it all up, you know what I mean? I used it. Anyway, it, it probably was close to 8.5 by 11, maybe 8 by 10. The portrait was super detailed. I did like all the strands of her hair, her eyes, like all the little wrinkles in her lips on this portrait. And then I printed it in a bunch of different colors and it was so fun. So this is very refreshing to be back into this. Even if I'm not using all of the quote unquote correct materials because we have a budget. Here is the moth though up close and I'm so excited to use it. I smoothed all the edges and trimmed them and just tried to clean it up as best I could off camera because it took a long time and I kind of really wanted to just play with all the shavings but you know I decided to move on to this mushroom here and carve this guy. <laughs> this one was really fun to do because it was very simple. It didn't take as long and I kid you not, I cut all of this out of my footage but you see all that like unused space around the mushroom and the same thing with like around the moth I just carved and carved into it like for no reason other than it was therapeutic and I had fun <laughs> this is like uh, I don't know one of those really satisfying things that I would probably find deep buried on YouTube at like two in the morning and just watch it. So feeling like I'm living that out a little bit is oddly satisfying. Does anybody else feel like that is something you would find yourself watching? Oh, wait, 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 maybe you're on my video for that reason. <laughs> Never mind. We're gonna discuss something else here, right? Well, if you're one of those people who found yourself on my channel, and this is the first video that you're seeing from me. Welcome to the art family. <laughs> I hope you stick around. <laughs> so I filmed three stamps being made. However, I did make five. Two of them are really simple though. So they weren't, I guess, worth filming in my opinion. I am excited to continue doing these because I think they are a great form of stress relief for me. So I might put some carved moths and mushrooms up in my shop or leaves or earthy botanical stamp things. So if you're interested in that, let me know because I mean, I, 
I don't know. I think I found a new hobby and it would be really cool to put some up in my shop or something. I don't know. It sounds so fun. <laughs> Have you guys ever just stumbled across an activity like this that maybe you've tried once way in the past or never tried it? and then you realized you might have a new hobby on your hands? If so, let me know what yours was. I definitely think this is probably mine. Oh, but while we're talking about hobbies, um, I wanna know what your other hobbies are outside of art. Tell me down below. We're gonna get to know each other really well in this video. I will tell you some of mine. I absolutely love, love, love gardening. Any sort of Thing that involves plants. I just love it so much. I also love hiking because I get to be around plants, which makes me really happy. And I like making soap. So I have really sensitive skin and I enjoy making my own bars of soap because I don't have to put artificial colorants in it. I don't have to put like a bunch of chemicals that I don't know the names of in it. I just make it at home in my own house and I can put clays in it and all sorts of things that nourish my skin and I know that what I make won't make my skin itch. So that's really fun. Anyway, these are the things that I made guys, the mushrooms and the moths and it was so fun pressing these. Ah, I had so, so, so much fun doing this part. It was so cool seeing what I spent the whole day carving come to life. Oh, by the way, the ones that I did not film were the stars and the hearts. They're really simple. I think I may have just, no, I didn't use scraps, but yeah, I could have. So I really enjoyed these, and uh, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know. Also, be sure to answer my multiple questions of the day, because I want to get to know you guys better. Especially because a ton of new people have been coming to my channel. So welcome, new people. I want to get to know you, too. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, guys.